Deke. Addie just wanted me to tell you that she paid some men to go get your bike and bring it back. It's over at the mechanic's shop. Oh, wait, what? You're welcome, Deke. Ricky out. Need something? Having a look. Is that okay? Okay, okay. I'll top you off. Bike's looking pretty busted. Got fuel if you need it. Check back later, I guess. See you around. St. John. I know. This is Mark Get Copeland at Deacon St. John. Hey, Cope. What's up? Just checking in. A couple of my men were up to the top of O'Leary Mountain the other day. Said they found a safe house set up in an old Forest Service watchtower. Is that right? Yes, sir. That's what I'm told. They said it was abandoned, but funny thing. Whoever lived there left behind a bike. Good shape, too, by the sound of it. Really? Indeed. That's not the funny thing. The funny thing is they went back up there today to pick it up, but the bike was gone. Now, ain't that a hit scratcher? Look, Cope, this is all really fascinating, but, uh... Now, hold on. Here's the fascinating part. They swear that old bike, well, it looked a lot like the one Boozer used to ride. Okay, so let me get this straight, Cope. You guys went up to O'Leary Mountain. You found what you thought was Boozer's bike. And the first thing you thought of was, hey, why don't we just go back and steal it? Salvage, Deke. Salvage. But no, that was my second thought. My first was, whatever happened to old Boozer? Manny says he hasn't seen him around for some time. I don't know, Cope. Next time I see him, I'll let him know how much you miss him. St. John out! What do you want? Deke, we got a real problem on our hands. You remember Richard Marsden? Used to ride for us? Oh, you mean Rick the Prick Marsden, yeah. I remember him. I thought Al Kai ran him out of camp. He did. But, oh, I guess Marsden wasn't too happy about it. He joined a group of drifters down at the Black Crater, led an attack against a supply run. We lost three men. Ah, oh, shit. I never liked that son of a bitch anyway. I'll take care of him. Oh, thanks, Deke. I knew I could count on you. Good you're here. Hey, Alka. What? Just see him what you got. Can I get anything else for you? Need anything else? Come by if you still need something. Come back whenever you need something. Yes, 
It's like Boozer says, I hear a bunk calling my name. to go back at it. Hey, how's it going? Sandy. Stuff's getting scarce. Hey, see you, D. Let me get the gate. I think we're the Take it, Sandra. You there? Yeah, hey, Mike. I, uh, just wish that I could have gotten to Abigail in time. You did what you could, and I'm grateful. See you, Dick. Glad you're on our side. Mike out. Ripper camp. Goddamn rippers. Deacon, you there? Yeah, Addy, what's up? Can you stop by the infirmary when you get a chance? Anything wrong? No, I just need to talk to you. Uh, yeah, okay. Send Alki. Uh, no, I got this. Uh, what was he wearing when your men got hit? Same thing he always wore. One of those black coats down to the knees, cowboy hat. Deke, bring me his hat. More holes in it, the better. Okay, so he's dressed like an asshole. Got it, St. John out.
You deserve to die, Rick the Prick.
coming. Open the gate. It's that grifter. I know I'm... What can I get for you? Sandy. Can I help you? Hey, Tuck, got you a new hat. <laughs> nice job. Did he put up much of a fight? So, uh, do I get paid more if he did? No. Then why do you care? Just enjoying the thought of how much the son of a bitch suffered before he bled out. Well, Jesus, Tuck, I don't do this shit for your entertainment. Hey, a deacon, right? How's the bike business going, Sandy? Check back. Hey, Deacon, you got a second? How's William? I haven't seen him lately. How's Boozer? How the hell are any of us? He's surviving. Yeah, well, then he's doing better than most. Yeah. Listen, you need to keep an eye on him. What do you mean? Well, losing an arm is a big adjustment. He's given up the life he had. <sighs> Wasn't much of a life, Addy. I... You're his friend. The only one he's got. Hey, man. Hey, how's it going? Okay, okay. I'll top you off. Let me know if you need anything. Boozer's fine. He'll live anyway. Hold on. I'll get it. Let me get the gate. Booze man, how you doing? I'm having the time of my life, can't you see? Uh. Okay, see you.
love some cucumbers. Hey, Addy, you there? Deacon, yes, I'm here. Hey, so, uh, I, I don't think that he's doing so well. I don't know, I guess so. Stop by, he seems. And angry. Rest. Look, I'll keep an eye on him. I'm gonna make sure he doesn't do anything stupid. Uh, see what I can do. I don't know. You do that, Deacon. You mean a lot to him. Infirmary out. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set Son of a bitch! About a month before shit went down, I wrote in my newsletter, Farewell Freedom. Store a year's worth of food and water. Because I knew, no matter what was coming, we were on nine meals from anarchy. I figured, if I could get a few people prepared, the ones who'd really listen, then maybe we'd survive when it all finally collapsed down on our heads. Not as many listened as I'd hoped. Now, those supplies are running out, and folks are going of the ant and the grasshopper? Well, us ants, who prepared and stored for future calamity, didn't have the heart to starve out you grasshoppers. Who danced while the sun was shining without a worry in your head for what calamities the future would bring. Now, we're all paying the price. We're gonna starve. I don't know. Fish runs are thinning out. Game is getting scarce. Last time I saw a buck or a dog. No. But I'll tell you this much. No. Ah. We're turning on each other. No, sir. We'll never do that. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Goddamn truth, you're bullshit. Last I checked, the grasshoppers all armed themselves with the teeth, came in, killed all your fucking ants, and took everything you own, so... If you're gonna tell parables, why don't you just get it right? Hey, how many drifters you guys murdered today, huh? Yeah, I can tell by looking at you. Someone's trapped. You're gonna be okay. You wanna die out here? Look, there's a camp that... Yeah. I'll go, I'll go. Where? Show me, show me! Peaceful Lake. Mark Copeland. It's safe there. Thank you so much for stopping. I was so dead. I was never getting out of there. Thank you. Name's Deacon. They know who I am. Stay off the main roads. Don't stop.
see. Let him in. My first one. Okay. That's your best bet. Right there. I don't know about that, Mike. We lost people in there before. We, lo we lost who? When? A few weeks back. Torres and Evans, looking for supplies. I told you that no, they were... No! God damn it, you didn't! I told you that we went after them, but the entrance ah. was caved in. Their bikes were outside, but the place was crawling. Do you remember? I don't even know if they made it inside. What's the trouble? Ah, uh, we just... We're going over the papers, the ones from Sherman's camp. Mm -hmm. There's a mine that was getting ready to expand. Sure, and there's probably explosives stored on site. Yeah. Except now Schizo tells me we may have lost two men on the inside. Hey, I never said that, Mike. Well, look, I, give me the map, I'll go get the explosives and like, hey, people will. inside. What the hell is going you on? You may trust him, Mike, but I don't. Tell me. How much is Tucker paying for a box of TNT these you days? You huh? hold on. He's doing his part. Oh, really? He's doing what? Besides breaking the treaty with the Rippers, skipping work, staying out with Ricky all day? What's he been doing, huh? What you been doing, huh? Sitting on your ass while everyone does all the work. I keep this camp safe mm. from marauders, thieves, and drifters. Don't you knock it off. Knock it off! Hey, you don't trust him? You go with him. You remember some both of you remember we are all part of the same camp that's fine fine by me in the morning we'll take our bikes and we'll go we'll go right now <laughs> now yeah now in the middle of the night sure you know it's dark out there'll be less freaks inside the mine oh that's right oh since you've been skipping work you've been chasing that black choppers and now you're some kind of freak expert don't need it? to be a fucking expert to know that the freaks come out at night okay oh, yeah. come on enough already okay okay you want to go now we'll go now but i'll hold on to this <sighs> jesus christ hey look he's got his issues just like everybody else does but he does his job. <laughs> Tell that to Torres and Evans. Deke, I guess I'm just making sure he's not gonna have some kind of accident down in that mine. Oh, Jesus, Mike, who do you think I am? I'm still trying to figure that out. See you when you get back. Son of a bitch. Hey, good to see you. What's going on, Blair? Yep. Good one. Uh, yep. Thanks for stopping by. Where are we going? Lucky lad, know where it is? Yeah. I'll be waiting for you. Yeah, try to keep up. Deacon, you there? This is Lost Lake Camp, over. Yeah, Ricky, what's up? I stopped by to see you. Obviously, you're not there. Schizo and I are on a run for Iron Mike. I'll be back by morning. What's up? I just wanted to see when we could get out and fix that transformer. <laughs> that hot shower still calling your name? Something like that. <laughs> we'll be back by morning. Talk to them. Deacon out. What took you so long? Whatever, brother. Let's get this done. So these belong to Mike's men? My men? But yeah. 
Torres and Evans. They weren't drifters, but they'd been out in the shit a few times. I thought they could handle it. I guess you were wrong. Shit's already been parted out. Goddamn scavengers everywhere. Skizza, why wouldn't you bring their ship back with you when you were out here looking for them? Because there were too many freaks. <laughs> That's why. Like them. Only a lot more. Come on. I might say the explosives are kept locked in strong boxes. Should have set a spare key somewhere inside the office. Fucking nuts. God, I hate those little suckers. We finally agree on something. Door's locked. Can we force it open? Nah, it's jammed with something from the inside. Uh, nuts. No idea. Gotta find another way in. Hey, over here. I think I can boost you onto this roof. Ready? Yep. Up you go! Got it. I think that's all of them. You okay? Yeah. Thanks for asking. Gizzo! I got him. Great, great. Look around. Uh, see if you can find some flair. Wait a second. You didn't bring a flashlight? Yeah, but the batteries are dead. Shit's getting hard to find these days. These ones that have any juice left. Flares. That's not gonna open. Gizzo, I found a box of flares. Yeah, see if you can force open the door. I'll come in and grab them. Flares are over here. Yeah. Give me the keys. What, you mean like these keys? Yeah, hand them Hey, over. hey, hey, I got an idea. How about you lead us to the strong boxes, I'll unlock them. You got a problem with that? No problem. Don't lose them. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna keep that in mind. I got him. Let's head in. Right behind you. See? It's just like I said. Looks like we should be able to squeeze in through here. Give me a hand. Here, push. I'm pushing, I'm pushing. There, wedge it against that boulder. Got it. There. <sighs> Looks stable to you. Stable enough.
Remember, keep your gun holstered. I thought you said it was gonna be clear. I never said that, and I mean it. If there are any freaks in here, one shot will bring them right down on their heads. I heard you already. Jesus. Okay, first expansion area is right off the main shaft. Come on this way. Right behind you. Ah, shit, we're not getting none of that. Look at the map. Is there another tunnel? A ventilation shaft? Map shows they started a connecting tunnel here. Looks like it was unstable, so they boarded it up. Where? Uh, back this way. Yeah. Yeah, looks well, like they boarded it up. Well, this doesn't look exactly stable. I thought I already said that. All I got is this. You got the flashlight. You have the honors. They never completed any of this expansion work. I mean, it seems like one stick of dynamite will bring this whole place down on our heads. Uh, it doesn't seem so bad. Shit, now! Come on. This way. What are you doing? What's it look like? You're dropping flares. Why? You got the map. This thing's a fucking maze. Gonna need help knowing which tunnels we checked. You go left here. Got it. What? These are men. Yeah. Every time I saw Torres, he had on this same damn vest. I kept telling him, wearing bright orange is gonna get you killed, bro. I guess it didn't matter in here. His buddy lost the arm, blood out, and... Yeah, Taurus fed for a week. You we'll ever resort to that? A few lines I haven't crossed, that's one of them. Yeah. Me either. Stand back. I'm not leaving him for the freaks. Let's get the hell out of here. This is it. No, no, it's back that way. All right, what have we got? Gotcha. Come on, we can squeeze through here. Following you. That's a tight squeeze. You got this? Who sits on his ass all day in the camp? Oh, very funny. Come on. Okay, the first expansion area should be around this corner. If you're reading the map right. I'm reading it right. <laughs> See? You still got the keys? Nothing. 
It's empty. Shit. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you not believe me? Sure. I believed you. Come on. Maybe they put them all in one place. Let's go check the other one. This way. Let's double back. Make sure we didn't miss any side tunnels. Excuse me. Hold, hold up, hold up. This doesn't seem right. What? What are you talking about? This isn't the way that we came in. What? You think these flares got up and moved themselves? Maybe I got turned around. Oh, someone's fucking with us. Who the hell's in here? Come on out! Show yourself! Excuse who put that thing away. What are you talking about? What I'm talking about is one shot. One. It's all it takes to bring all the freaks in these tunnels down on top of us. Well, I thought you said these tunnels would be clear this time. No. Ah! What the hell? Ah! Look out! I can't get a shot! Ah! Oh, God damn it! God damn it, it's got the keys! Shit! Where are you going? It's got the keys! We gotta catch it! Huh. Hey, come back! God damn it, Skizzo, it's getting away! Damn it, shit, get back here! Come on, shit, you got those fucking keys! Where'd you go? the last of them. So much for the tunnels being clear. I told you what would happen if you fired your weapon. What was I supposed to do? Throw rocks at him? I'm supposed to do is you're supposed to fucking listen to me. Next time, try this. Whatever. You're welcome. For what? For saving your ass. If you hadn't run off, my ass wouldn't need a saving. <laughs> Are you ready to fucking finish this? Yeah. I'm ready. This way. So, it rose off. Addy said it looked like someone tried to burn his tax off. There's the Rippers, wasn't it? You got a point, Schizo? Had a drifter come in. Word's gone out. Rippers are looking for two men. Mongols? Sound like anyone you know? Well, as you can see... I'm still wearing the cut. We're not hiding, Schizo. Carlos wants Boozer. He won't have any trouble finding him. But he's gonna have to go through me first.
did you do to him? There gotta be something long before breaking the truth. Long before I... You know what? I don't know and I don't care. Have I killed a few rippers in my day? You're goddamn right I have. And after what they did to Boozer, I'm gonna go right on killing the crazy sons of bitches. Yeah? And Carlos is crazier than any of them. You don't wanna be on his shit list, bro. What'd I just say? I don't care. And I'm not your bro. Remember what I told Iron Mike? Carlos can go fuck himself. Hey, just looking out for you. You're one of us now, right? Yeah, yeah right. Don't worry about me and Boozer. We can look out for ourselves. Another micro recorder. One of these is gonna explain what the hell you guys are doing out here. This ought to make the old man happy. Shit's heavy. What are you talking about? You know the old man. Same with me. I got this. Thanks. He thinks that his treaty with the Rippers is gonna keep us safe. The thing is, they don't give a shit about any treaty. The only reason they haven't come down here in force is because they're too busy up north, hitting Copeland, the hot springs. Yeah, I know I was there. So you know what I'm talking about. The Rippers are coming. And Iron Mike, he's just gonna let it happen. He's gonna let those bald-headed freak-alikes wash over us like a goddamn red tie. Excuse me, so you don't know that. So glad to see the light of day. Shit, something else we agree on. That's twice in one day. Hold up for a second. Someone out there. Hey, bite. Someone's inside. Hey, what you hell? hiding out there? Oh. Shit in your pants. Come on now. Yeah. Yeah. Find the yeah. Come on. Find him. Mister, my boy's got a little rambunctious, I admit it. They're a little jumpy out here, you know? You come on out and talk all to right. me, and I'll uh, split down. up. Hey, sister, I thought you just wanted to talk. Well, I guess that's all I gotta say. <laughs> Give it to him! They're down! They're down! Med come! Ah, got it. Lay it into him! Get the asshole! Ah, Give it to him! I think that's all the bastards. Yeah. yeah. Come on. We gotta get that box of dynamite. Must have been the same assholes who farted out the bikes. Right by and they see ours. I figured they'd make an easy score. I guess it wasn't as easy as they'd hoped. You know, I hate to say it, but we actually make a good team. <clears throat> well then, don't say it. Hey, there's something I gotta say. When you and Boozer rode into camp and Iron Mike welcomed you back again with goddamn open arms, I thought it was another sign the old man was losing it. Going soft. Okay, what's your point, Skizo? My point is that you and me, we see eye to eye. I get that now. You know, same as me, if Iron Mike don't wake the hell up, the camp's not gonna last another six months. Okay, still waiting for your point. Look, I know I've been busting your balls. We both know that. But a lot of people know what you've done for your friend, how you've been doing shit for the camp. Changes are coming, brother. When Iron Mike retires, let's call it, I say you and me, we step up and run the camp together. You and me? Run the camp? <laughs> That's really what you wanted to talk hey, to me about. Hey, hear me out, goddammit. <laughs> Just listen to me a minute. Uh -huh. Look, I got a lot of friends on the camp council. 
and they agree. Most of them say the old man's got to go. Yeah, that's bullshit because Ricky would never go for well, She's as soft as and the old Mike man. And Mike trusts you. Well, that's his mistake. One of many. Well, it ain't gonna be mine. Look, we all do things to survive, CSO. I get that. You remember how I said there's some lines I ain't crossed? Stabbing a friend in the back? That's one of them. Better one old man in the entire camp. You think about that. Lake Camp, come in. Deke at St. John to Iron Mike. Deke, you and Schizo, you find them? The explosives? Yeah, Mike, uh, we got them. Schizo's on his way back with everything we found. Listen, Mike, I gotta tell you. That's great. That's great! Now, we can't use them till we find some dead corn. You know that, right? I'll take a look through the files we got. Mike, listen to me. Schizo, he's up. Jesus, what now? You boys try and shoot your damn heads off again? No, Mike, but he, uh, he must have run the camp, Mike. He told me him. Oh, hell, I know all about that. Remember, I told you already. Schizo thinks I'm a pacifist. I'm gonna get us all killed. I know he's been talking. Mike. Deke, like I said, Schizo's got his issues, but it... Where's Boozer? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I thought he was with you. Yeah, he was, and then he he took off. Some shit. Excuse me, what the fuck are you telling me? Get off me! Look, he grabbed a bottle of whiskey, he said he was going home. I don't know. Motherfucker, and you didn't even try to stop him, did you? Hey! We tried! <laughs> you gotta know when to cut a man loose. You gotta know when a man's done. Ricky, you there? What's wrong? Boozer went out, but he didn't come back. Shit. You heading up there? Need help? No, I'll find him. Boozer, you there? Booze man. Uh, yeah, Deke. Yeah, Deke. No, I'm here. Where the hell are you? It's, it's getting dark out. Jesus, stay there. I'm coming to get you. Just, just stay here. I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm at the, uh, the farm. Oh, my God. Crap. All right, here's the farm. This is where Ricky said the work crew was. Boozer! You there? Boozman! Damn it! Okay, here's the farm. Hey, where's Boozer? Who? Ah, oh, there's no one here. Work crew's gone home for the day. No, he's still here. The, the big guy with one arm. Yeah, yeah, I know who you mean. He headed off that way, towards the old farmhouse. Thought he was getting a ride there. If you see him, tell him, tell him to stay here. Radio me or Ricky. Sure, man. Whatever.
Boozer! You there? Boozman! Where the hell are you, Boozman? Schizo said that he had a, a bottle of whiskey. Where would he go to drink a bottle of whiskey? One of these uh, farmhouses? This has got to be it. Boozer! Are you in here? This looks like it. Good book to read. Whiskey bottle. Empty. Wait a second. Case of beer? Okay, let's take a look around. What do we got? There you are. Beer bottle, empty. Heading that way. Damn it. Skizzo's right. He's heading home. He's on foot. He can't have gotten far. Boozer! Booze man! Hey, Dick. I said you were at the farm. I just left, and you are not at the farm, Boozer. Uh... Oh! Oh! The other farm. I'm, um... I, I, I went to the other farm. You know, I... I found a sixer. <laughs> so, I thought I had to walk, you know, like this little walk and sunset. So, uh, I just walked. What are you doing? Which way? More beer bottles. Empty. Tracks. Okay. So you're not in the barn. Farmhouse. Yeah. Yeah, that's like a barn. Boozer! Are you in here? Booze man! Upstairs. Okay, now where? Another bedroom. And another beer bottle. That's wet or oh. Boozer, where are you? Booze! I, I thought you were gonna come um, have a beer with me and take a walk. Boozer, just. Where are you? Would you look around? Did you tell me what you see? What's nearby? Give me a, give me a landmark or something. I already told you. Oh, oh look at that shit. Look at what, loser? What do you see? The road. The road's. Uh, wow. It's just. It's gone. 
Like, like somebody came and just swept it away. The roads gone? Hell yeah. The, the, like, somebody came and just swept it away. Gone. I'm walking. And walking. And, and, and now the road, it... Just stay right there. Just... Stay where you are. Get down. Get out of sight. Listen for my bike. I'm coming. I'm not hiding from no one. I'm going home. The home. Damn it, Boozer. That's got to be him. Boot prints. Bingo. Boozer, you there? I'm getting close. I uh, I followed your tracks. Just like you taught me. Uh, Boozer, come on, man. Stay put, will ya? For a stroll. Hey, Dig. How's it going, old buddy? Boozer, where are you going? Oh, that's where I'm going. Home. Oh, well, we can't go back to O'Leary Mountain. No, I'm not going to fucking O'Leary Mountain. I'm going to farewell. Shit, come on. We gotta get you. Don't want to be no, doing that. You want to take a swing at me? Fine. Get in line behind them. So this is it? This is how we're going out? Get out no, here, no, no, I don't think so. Huh, Boozer? Huh? Bro? Boozer? The nice year old lady was killed. What did I say to you? I didn't tell you. What did I say to you, huh? I found you halfway through a case of whiskey. You were gonna drink yourself to death. What did I say to you? You grabbed a bottle, and you chugged it. It was a lot of goddamn whiskey. And you told me that if I was gonna drink myself to death, you'd be right there with me. That's what brothers do. So like I said, Boozer... Is this it? That's how we're going out? Let's get the hell out of here. Go, go, go! I'm going! Go faster, man! Ah! There's cars! Wrecked cars! I see him, loser! Of them. Yeah. We're gonna be okay. That I knew. I knew it all along. Hey, hey, D. Boozer, listen. I just want to say thank you, man. I mean it. Boozer, uh, just listen. God damn it! You came out here and you saved my sorry ass again. I owe you, brother. I owe you. No, no, Boozer. I owe you. All right, look. If Open it weren't up. for you, I uh, I would have been dead. You're gonna be okay. Oh hell yeah. Oh, I hear a bunk calling my name. Yeah, Ricky, I found him. Hmm, okay. How is he? Well, let's just say that tomorrow he's gonna have one hell of a hangover. A hangover? Good. I'll remember that when I stop by to see him. It's... Yeah, yeah, thank God. He deserves it. Deke, I'm glad he's okay. Okay. 
<laughs> Don't be such a stranger. A college kid. Lost Lake Camp, come in. Hey, Ricky, I, uh, I got a favor to ask. Yeah, what's up, Deke? Um, it's about Boozer's arm. Uh, I saw that hook that you made for him, and, uh, it's great, but, uh, don't you think it might be better if, instead of a hook, I don't know, maybe with something like a knife or a blade or something, you know? Oh, uh, oh hold on. Oh, thank you. So, oh. oh, I'm sorry about that. So, uh... You, you want me to, you want me to create a prosthetic blade for Boozer? Well, yeah, I just thought I might cheer him up, make him feel, you know, more of a... You want me to weaponize Boozer? Well, I wouldn't put it that way. I'm just fucking with you, Deke. I think uh, it's a great idea. Uh, I will go check some parts, and I will radio what I need. Cool? Okay. Okay. Got good shit in stock today. Buzz, how you doing? That's a good piece. Nice and sturdy. You're late. Try to make forever a day or two, will ya? Yeah, good part, that one. And what else can I get you? Yeah, that'll last you. Your bike's looking good now. That's a good piece. Nice and sturdy. Okay. <laughs> 